Chicago and state, a troubled intersection as of late, the site of a mass shooting last month. Now the Cook County Sheriff wants to be part of the solution by setting up shop at the crime ridden quarter. Only on two, our Tara Molina explains the new strategy. Chicago police said they'd keep a fixed post of officers here since the deadly shooting, and now they'll be joined by another fixed post with the Cook County Sheriff's Office moving in here in the next couple of months, according to a downtown alderman. Chicago and state the end of last month, a deadly mass shooting rocked the area. Two killed, seven wounded. And if you've been through here since, you've seen Chicago police. As we've tracked a continued uptick in violent crime across the downtown area, specifically here in River North, where we're seeing aggravated assaults, aggravated batteries, criminal sexual assaults, and motor vehicle thefts at all time highs since 2015. The Cook County Sheriff's Office moved into the neighborhood in January to provide more law enforcement in the area in an effort to curb that crime. We got the memo and we have added more and more and more resources. A move a CPD spokesperson called the latest example of our commitment to collaboration and community. Since April, we've learned the sheriff's police have made gun and stolen vehicle arrests on their own, responding to a carjacking downtown just last week. Since the end of April, they've made 182 traffic stops and 2,562 premise checks. That's when officers proactively check on businesses, residences, and more. But more specifically, they've helped CPD respond to violence here. In a case at the end of April, a sheriff's police officer was the first to respond to a shooting at Dearborn and Hubbard, able to provide first aid to the victim. And in another case at the end of May at Chicago and Cambridge, sheriff's police helped CPD respond to a shooting with injuries. And with a move planned to an area CPD has been covering for a reason. The sheriffs will be relocating their substation to the corner of state and Chicago. Downtown Alderman Brian Hopkins told me we could see the move sometime this summer. With their presence downtown making a difference, crime stats can't always capture. Even just the uniformed staff coming and going on a constant basis creates that additional visibility, which can be a disincentive to criminal activity. A spokesperson for the River North Residents Association told me it's too early to tell if they've made any real difference with their presence here quite yet, but their assistance with CPD and patrolling the neighborhood is both encouraging and appreciated. Reporting at River North, I'm Tara Molina, CBS 2 News.